What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Jennifer and today we're going to be doing a December reset. So December starts tomorrow. I can't believe it. And there's a lot going on in December I think for pretty much everybody. Well, I don't know. But there's a lot going on for me <laughs> in December. Lots of different things to do. But I'll be taking you guys along with me for the most part. But let's go ahead and reflect on November. So November, November was pretty good. We hosted Thanksgiving. Uh, it was 12 people, including me and my husband. It went well, well, the hams didn't cook on time, but we finally got them cooked and it wasn't that bad. So <laughs> I launched the Navigating Grace kit, which has been so much fun. And if you're interested, the link is below. And honestly, it's been just trying to get my medicine straight for my depression. So that's, that's fun, but um, still working on that. But let's go ahead and jump into the November favorites. So I've got a couple of, well, more than a couple, I've got a few things. So I'm gonna start with The Well-Watered Woman by Gretchen Saffles. And this, I just read it this month. I read it this past month, well, in November, <laughs> and this is my second time reading it. I think I probably read it I think in April or May of last year, and it is so good. It's even better than I remembered, and it's, let me see here. Discover the bottomless, refreshing well of God's word and experience fullness and peace beyond your circumstances. I will definitely be reading this again. I really want to highlight and everything. My next thing, I don't even know if they still make it. It's a couple years old, so it's probably expired, but it still smells good and it works. So it is the Bath and Body Works Joy. It's like one of their Christmas collection, sugared, snick, sugared snickerdoodle. <laughs> sugared snickerdoodle. And it smells so good. That's okay. It smells so good. Like you could eat it. So I've been using that like every day. And speaking of smells, I have another smelly item here. Um, this came in my FabFitFun box and I am obsessed. It smells like Christmas. I don't know what the scent is supposed to be. I threw away the stuff, so, but it is the Lifestyle Co. Mood, whatever that means. I guess that's the name of the, I don't know if it's the name of the brand or the name of the scent or the type of, I don't know, but this is it. And it smells kind of Christmas, like there's, I spray myself with it. Um, it smells kind of like, I don't know why it has like a Christmas scent to it, but it does. Kind of like Christmas tree. I don't know. But it's a strong smell and it lasts a long time. My last favorite for November is a podcast and I am a true crime fan and my cousin told me about this one and it's 10 to life by annie elise and it is really really good and she kind of just breaks down the stories really well and it's just i like the way she tells the story so that is it for november's favorites so now we're going to go into the goals for this month um i'm trying to think of different goals to do so i'm not doing like the same thing every month but Okay, so cook at home more, which I think I probably said that before. I don't know what happened to my October goal list, but it's gone. Um, I'm gonna keep everything in this notebook from now on. <laughs> um, but anyway, for the personal, cook at home more, which I think we mentioned, or I mentioned last time, just kind of not eating out as much. And I wanna cook at home because that's different because if I eat at home, I just eat snacks. But if I cook at home, I can cook some meals. Um, the next thing would be my skincare. I have slacked off on that since my depression medication has not been working very well for the past couple of months. So I wanna get back into doing that twice a day. I wanna read two books. I've already got them planned out. Mere Christianity by C.S. Lewis. We're gonna be reading that in the book club in the Navigating Grace kit. And The Christmas Pig, which is adorable. I read it last year and my mom got it for me last year no a couple years ago for Christmas and it's just the cutest little story ever um use my planner I have so many planners I don't know why I can't stick to it I was filling my planner out yesterday for the month of December and <sighs> see I didn't use it this morning I don't know I don't know what it is but I saw another planner too 
that I was like, ooh, that looks like that would be perfect for me. And I'm like, you got like three or four planners you don't need anymore because <laughs> you don't use any of them. Um, well, I've started using the Hosanna Revival one again. Mm -hmm. Only make Christmas presents. So this year we are not buying gifts. Um, we're trying to have like, my family goes all out with Christmas presents. And last year I said I wasn't going to, but I really did. And <laughs> not going to do that this year because we've decided to build a house. So we are going to be saving up for that. So I'm going to make stuff. I'm going to make a little present. And I'm also going to do a lot of baking, like goodies. And I'm also going to make some bread for everybody. And hopefully everyone likes it. <laughs> Watch two new movies slash documentaries. So I tend to watch the same things over and over and over. It's just comforting. Um, but I want to try something new. Don't know what type of movie. Don't know like what genre. Same thing with documentary. Either one of those. Um, documentary will probably be a true crime one. And eat decent breakfasts. I'm very bad about this. I either don't eat breakfast, I have coffee, or I have junk like snacks like Chex Mix and brownie little bites or something <laughs> so it's not very good I need to make eggs and grits and toast I have all the things I just need to make it it's like when I first wake up in the morning that's the last thing I want to do is start cooking especially with eggs you gotta clean the nasty pan afterwards because all the eggs stuck to it and it's just a whole ordeal and I don't feel like messing with that first thing in the morning so I haven't done it but I'm gonna try <laughs> And that's it for the personal goals. Moving on to the Christian ones. Obviously the normal, I didn't write it down, but like the normal, try and read my Bible every day, blah, blah, blah. Um, but I try to come up with some new ones. So be involved in fellowship with the Navigating Grace Kit friends, which is fun. We talk in Slack about what we're learning and just our day, getting to know each other. Um, find a new Christian podcast. So if you have any recommendations, let me know below. I already listened to quite a few. Um, like coffee and bible time uh the daily grace podcast uh canis came over race podcast i just listened to a ton of different christian ones so i'm trying to find a new one to add to the bunch and stick with my christmas devotional daily so it i, I showed it on my instagram what it is um i used it last year but i didn't stick to it every single day i want to do that this year and be more creative and not so perfect with my Bible studies, which I think I mentioned last month. Um, just to, if I mess up, like misspell a word or something, I'm not gonna freak out about it. <laughs> and then for work, grow YouTube. I'm trying to keep up with it. And yeah, set specific work times. I still am struggling with that. I can't like cut it off. Like, I wake up in the morning, it's like I don't feel like doing stuff, so I get put it off till nighttime, and the nighttime is when I want to relax in my pajamas and watch Christmas movies and all that kind of stuff. So it's just kind of like, I did nothing all day, so that way I have to do it all at night when I could be relaxing and getting some sleep. So I want to change that. Time block, which kind of goes along with that. Um, and post regularly on all of the platforms. So TikTok, which if you message me, comment on TikTok, I'm sorry, I don't really get on TikTok. I just get on there and post. I don't really know how it works because I'm old and <laughs> it's just not my thing. But Instagram, I will answer you. And same thing with YouTube. Well, I'm still figuring out YouTube a little bit because I just realized I missed some messages. So I'm working on it. If you message me and I don't answer, I'm not ignoring you. I probably haven't seen it and or I don't know how to answer you back. So, But that is it guys. So December is going to be a pretty busy month. Obviously it's Christmas time. So we're going to have like tomorrow we're going to a downtown Christmas lighting thing with um, my mother-in-law and my sister and brother-in-law and then next Saturday we're going to a different place to walk around and see Christmas lights with some friends and the day after that we're going to be going to a train Christmas train thing with my family and then we're going to Disney World just for like a day um, we want to just walk around Epcot and relax that's our park 
and then of course Christmas. My family is coming over Christmas morning. We're not really doing anything big. I will probably cook something, but just hang out, open presents, maybe play a game. And yeah. And then after Christmas is my husband's birthday. And then New Year's, oh, it's my mother, my mother-in-law and my husband's birthday. They have the same birthday. So um, we usually get together, have dinner. We usually go out to dinner. Um, and then of course, New Year's Eve, which I love New Year's Eve. I've always wanted to have like one of those big parties where you wear the pretty like sparkly dress and everything. But uh, me and my friends are old. We just don't get out like that at, at midnight. <laughs> I always ring in the new year in my pajamas, but last year me and my husband played, what was it? How to catch, I don't know, no? I don't remember. It's some kind of like true crime, not true crime, but a crime game that we solve a mystery murder. I don't know, but it was fun. And I was wanting to do that again this year, but then I realized my husband works on New Year's Eve. So he, he works from home so I can go in there and hang out with him um, and our baby cat and like watch the ball drop and I don't know we normally play games and eat food like pizza and stuff so I don't know what we're gonna do but yeah so just a very busy month I know I'm excited for January just to kind of start fresh you know all the I mean, I love all the decorations, don't get me wrong, but it's always too, it's weird when you take everything down because everything is so empty. Um, but it'll be nice to kind of refresh and just kind of reorganize, get into, you know, spring cleaning. I need to clean up my closet because half of the stuff I don't wear anymore, especially like the spring summer clothes. So I don't have a whole lot that I can wear in the spring and summer. So I'll probably have to get some more stuff, which I don't want to do. I'll figure it out once I go through the stuff, but I'll probably go like thrift shopping or something because I'm going to donate all the clothes that I don't wear anymore. So while I'm there, I might as well go in and see what they have. I also want to get my medicine straightened out about my depression and I just feel, but it's my favorite time of year. So I need to park up you know. All right, guys. Well, thank you for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't done that already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.